Hi, my name is Sarah Lugo, and this is my presentation on social media use and psychological well-being for Professor Farrell's Research Methods course of Fall 2017. So the purpose of study one was to see if there is a relationship between passive social media use, active social media use, and psychological well-being. Psychological well-being was identified as positive affect, negative affect, and life satisfaction. The purpose of study one was to see if social media use had an effect on psychological well-being or if psychological well-being had an effect on social media use. My hypothesis for study one was that passive social media use will have a strong correlation with negative psychological well-being and active social media use will have a strong correlation with positive psychological well-being. For study one, we sent out a survey and participants responded accordingly to three different scales. In order to determine positive and negative affect from social media use, participants answered questions that were related to the Spain scale. The SWLS scale was also used to determine participants' life satisfaction. What we found was that life satisfaction and passive social media use are negatively correlated, and active social media use was positively correlated with positive emotions. No other correlations were found. Study one is important because researchers may be able to better understand how to inform the public of possible negative affect from passive social media use by explaining what kind of social media use may, be, may negatively affect individuals. After these findings, we thought it was important to create a study two in order to see if social media use causes psychological well-being or if psychological well-being causes social media use. My hypothesis for study two does not exist because it's an exploratory study. For study two, we sent out a survey and participants responded accordingly to three different scales. In order to determine positive and negative affect from social media use, participants answered questions that related to the Spain scale. The SWLS scale was also used to determine participants' life satisfaction, and we used mood induction from the Belton scale in order to see if any changes in participants' mood will cause any change in social media use. What we found was that mood or affect does indeed cause active social media use. In regard to passive social media use and life satisfaction, no causal relationships were found. Also, no significant differences for gender were found either. Study two is important because we were able to find a significant causality for social media use, which was mood or affect, which can also help us better understand why people may choose to engage in social media use. Understanding why people might engage in social media use is important for researchers because it helps us better understand people and their possible reasons for their actions.